there are divisions. There are locals, there are regionals, and then there are majors. So locals typically take place at an arcade or you know your local gaming center since you don't really have arcades anymore. A regional is something that's typically a weekend long, uh, one or two days, people travel for it. And it has you know a lot of competition, a lot of good competition, but it's still like either the prize pot's not big enough or it's not an established tournament. And then you have something called a major. And a major is an event that when you hear the name, it's like, yeah, I know that tournament. Because it has an established reputation. It has, you know, a big prize purse. It has a lot of sponsors. Everybody knows to go. That's, that's what we consider a major. And then after a major, you have something like Evolution, which is considered like the world finals of fighting games. Because you have people from dozens of countries around the world, thousands of entrants, and that's kind of where the world's best is defined through that tournament. Up and throw up here. This time it hits, and we have our champion, Mango, first place here at Evolution. Evo is the biggest and baddest fighting game tournament in the world. It's really the big show. It's like the Super Bowl of fighting games. To my old school ears, Evo is the rebranded B series of tournaments. Evo now is basically a direct outgrowth of that. Um, so the scale is, I don't know, not even a hundred times bigger. It's actually more than a hundred times bigger, I think. But actually that's one of the only thing that's changed. The format I think is almost identical. Still a double elimination tournament. You still pay money into the pot and the winner takes it home. Um, and it's still put on by players. Evo has never had any full-time staff and still doesn't. And every aspect of this production is from the sound to you know the videos to the stream to the setup, it's all just a bunch of players. And that's pretty cool to me. Evo is the culmination of fighting game fans everywhere. It's crazy how it, it, it was a small tournament that no one knew about and it's become a place where now game companies are highlighting and making announcements and really uh, using it as a platform to not just reach out to the core community, but also to media worldwide. And there's millions of people that watch it year over year now, and I think it's amazing how much just Evo has grown. Now, I still remember the days when we got 100 people in a tournament, we were like, what is going on? This is the most fantastic thing ever. Between all the games, we'll probably have 4,000 players maybe competing in all these games over the weekend. And, and that's what makes it the big one, is just that you know if you can survive through this gigantic armada of players, that you know you are truly one of the best in the world to be able to make it through and win. Oh, oh, he got it! He got it! If he finishes it, it'll be over! If he finishes it with the grab, he'll be over! I went for the first time last year, and I've been to a lot of majors at this point, but EVO was just an unbelievable experience. I, I, I didn't think anything like that could really exist, but just going to EVO for the first time and experiencing it, it, it was the greatest thing, you know, the greatest thing I've ever been a part of. It's, it's more than just the biggest fighting game tournament in the world. It's one of the best events you can possibly like experience in your life, I think. EVO, 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 EVO. Most of the people here probably don't have a serious shot at winning the competition, but coming here and taking a shot and knowing that it's open to anybody to come and take a shot at the best in the world is pretty awesome. And that sort of, I think, captures that old arcade spirit, uh, which is where we all came from, which is anybody can play. Um, you know, you've got a quarter in your pocket, you can walk up and play uh, against anybody else who's here and take your shot against them. It's just the biggest arcade in the world.